Hello, so I've been asked if I could do something a bit more basic and that's exactly what I'll be doing today. I'll be coding uh, some regular polygons and some stars. So um, let's get started. We're going to have a div. This is going to be just a test div. Now we can move on to the styling. And now here we're going to set some styles. Um, first of all, we're going to have some dimensions. Let's say 40 make it depend on the uh, viewport uh, width is that dimension the height is also that dimension uh, we give everything a background just so that we can see stuff and now we're going to start working on on mixin so um that's going to be mixin regular uh, polygon um this is going to take a number of vertices um this number let's say it's going to be three by default now here we're going to compute the base angle, and this is the full circle, 360 degrees, over the number of vertices. Uh, and we're also going to have a list of points, which is initially empty. So here we loop for i from 0 all the way up to n. Um, we compute a current angle, which is i times the base angle. Uh, then we compute the coordinates of the vertices, the x and y coordinates. And that's going to be 50% at first because we start from the 50% 50% point, so from the middle from there. Uh, plus the radius is also going to be 50% uh, uh, times cosine of the current angle. So by the radius, I mean uh, the circumradius, the radius of the circle on which all the polygon vertices are situated. So uh, now just copy paste this um, and modify it for y this is going to be a sine instead of cosine the thing is i can take out this 50 percent so i can take it out and here i'm going to have um one plus um and oops sorry um i also need to add there at the end okay and now I'll add to the list of points the x and y coordinates. And finally, I'm going to set clip path polygon. And I'm going to use that list of points. And here, what I can do is include a regular, uh, sorry. So uh, this does it, but maybe I don't want my triangle to start from the right. So in order to fix that, I can add an offset angle. That's going to be, let's say minus 90 degrees by default. This is going to bring this uh, by minus 90 degrees to the top. So um, the way I do it is plus the offset angle right there. So yeah, uh, this uh, does it. Uh, now, we can also do something like um, a star with uh, all edges equal. And the way we do that is, let's make this star shape. Okay, um, and we're also going to have a factor here, uh, which let's say it's 0.5. Uh, here, we compute another constant value, and this is going to be twice uh, the number of uh, star points. So uh, this is going to be the number of vertices m, which is going to be twice the number of star points. Okay, and here I divide by m, and here I go all the way up to m. Okay, uh, and I also need to uh, compute a relative radius. Um, and this one is going to be that f factor times cosine of the base angle. Okay, and here I'm going to uh, compute um, a current uh, radius multiplier. I don't know what else to call it. Whatever. Um, so this is going to depend on the parity. So uh, if I modulo 2 is 0, then it's going to be 1. Um, otherwise, it's going to be that relative radius. Okay, and here I multiply with that. Okay, so now if I add another div, so 
just uh, the second one right here. So let's say I'm going to have a second one and here and child two. And just copy paste this. Include and this gives me a three point star and I can actually make it a five point star. Um, I can make this 0.75 for example. I can make uh, the rotation angle something like 15 degrees, something like this. Uh, and here as well I can change the number of vertices to something like 7 and the offset angle to, um, I don't know, 45 degrees, something like that. So um, yeah, this is it what I wanted to show you for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have and you want me to be able to put out more stuff like this in the future and not end up dying in a trash can, please consider supporting my work. You can do it in one of the ways explained in the description. So that's with a donation, there's going to be a donation link. Or you can make this kitty very happy by getting her something off her Amazon wishlist. The links again are going to be in the description. Or you can help by supporting the implementation of uh, the very cool clip path um, property, which is not currently supported in Edge yet, but you're going to find a link in the description where you can vote for its implementation. And I'd be really grateful if you could do that because it would be really cool to have this uh, cross browser. Or you can at least share this to show the world what can be done with CSS these days, because honestly, I think it's pretty damn cool. In any event, thanks for watching.